All right. Hey, Shalom, my count. Um, the high spirit wind Judah of the GMS Mississippi camp, giving our honor and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shemi, Hawashai, by Shemra, Kakudash. I also want to give double honors to our elder apostles and elder bishops, the great millstone who rule well, and peace and blessings to the house of David the elect. All right. And uh, before I go into the live stream, all right, before I go into the live stream, which, you know, this is not really relevant to the lesson, but, you know, we get into herbs. Or we get into nature and something I wanted to um, sort of just put on display is a book entitled Brevi Breverton's Complete Herbal Book. All right. A book of remarkable plants and their uses. All right. Now, this is not what the lesson is going into, but it just hit me that I had the book in my uh, book bag right next to me. And a lot of times I go into the lesson and I make reference of certain books or whatever. So this is a book. You know, brothers, can, brothers and sisters can add to their arsenal. Right, you'll be surprised what the Most High has in the planet Earth. This, this might be in your kitchen cabinet that can help relieve you of a lot of ailments, man. All right. Now, that's not what the lesson is going into. All right. The, the lesson is going into all right, the wiles of the devil. Okay. And Shalom to you, Akim and you, Akwathkim, all right, who are tuning in to this live stream. All right. And, and the title comes from. A particular scripture all right let me turn on the other light a particular scripture all right that i'm reference referencing referencing all right it's ephesians all right chapter 6 verse verse 11 it says put on the whole armor of yahweh that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil all right so what does that mean are right, the wiles of the devil all right. Well, first of all, what does the word wows mean? All right. If you go into the blue of the Bible, it goes into the Strong's Greek, um, methodias, methodias, which I think that's where you get the word method from. All right. And it basically goes into cunning arts. All right. Deceit, deceit. All right. Cunning arts, deceit, craftiness. Okay. So methodias, all right, goes back to cunning arts, man. And something that the me and the brother was talking about, the brother Yash. All right. Is that same is the he's basically the king of false realities. So if you want to know, you know, how Satan, you know, agitates brothers or you know, tempers with brothers in his truth and sisters, all right, is that he conjures up false realities within your mind. All right, that's one way, all right. He deals with people, he he enters into people, all right, and get all into their spirits to make them agitate you and to make them vex you, all right. But Satan, when it comes to cunning arts, right? He's the, the king, the spiritual demon Satan in, in this sense. He's the king of, of conjuring up false realities in your mind, all right? He's the a false reality. So I'm going to get that again. Ephesians 6 and 11. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that he may be that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. All right? Like I said, the wiles is just deceits. It's cunning arts, man. His trickery. That's what the word wows mean. All right. And what the spiritual demon saying does, he, he gets into your mind, he breaks into your mind. All right. And he'll give you false realities, man. All right. All right. One example is suspicions in account. All right. You think the, the brothers got it out for you. All right. And they may have little actions or little movements that play into that suspicion. All right. But all while all those things are going on, all right, all while normalcy is going on within your mind, there's hell, all right. You see people like they're bugging out at a, at a, a, a bug out hospital or insane house, insane asylum, all right. They have they're living in a different reality in their mind. This homeless guy walking down the street, just talking to himself, talking, to, and he has a whole nother reality in his mind, but his spirits, man. All right, it's spirits, okay? All right, it all goes back to the spiritual demon Satan, okay? So just, just you know, building up from there. Like I said, I can just continue on. Verse 12, Ephesians 6 and 12, all right, it sort of submits that, that uh, the, the point. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, which are spirits, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. 
All right, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to stand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. All right, but it says, uh, putting on the whole armor of Yahweh, man. All right, putting on the whole armor, which is what it's the word. So the way you deal with those suspicions, all right, because you can have a suspicion, an evil eye, all right, towards your your woman, man. Look at that. What's she doing? What's she mean by that? Where's she really going? All right. Not saying she's not capable of infidelity, but sometimes the most a the same could construct the reality. They have you focus on her as opposed to the word, man. All right. It's a false reality. And Satan is the master of constructing false realities in your mind. All right. To the point where your attention is diverted into this carnality or into these uh, affairs of this world. And now you've what? You've put down a plow unintentionally with the word, man. And now Satan is like, high five, I did my job. Hey, 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 that boy good, man. Hey, you'll be surprised what this man is capable of, man. Well, I say this man, I mean the spiritual demon Satan, all right? Because what, what, what is his physical counterpart doing? He, give you a, he gives you a, a false reality. U.S. history, world news, was currently going on in world news, all right? How the earth was made. Collectively, it's just a false reality. The food you eat is not real processed food. It's a false reality, man. All right. So I'm gonna um, get Ephesians six and twelve again. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. All right. But like I was saying, all right, Satan has all types of spiritual demons. Satan. Has all types of uh, wows, all right, and darts, all right, against the hopeful elect with the intent to get you out the word. So every every brother and sister is in this truth, all right. You're in a competition uh, to the kingdom, man. You you have to contend, all right, for the kingdom. That's why it says in the scriptures, earnestly contend for the faith, man. All right, but the, the what the word contend means to like compete. Like they will refer to a fighter as a contender. All right. So what are you fighting against? You fighting against all these cunning arts and deceits uh, from the spiritual demon Satan. Manifested in your own thoughts. Manifested in people. But it all has the intent to give to draw out a carnal reaction and make you do something that's going to overthrow your position in this truth. Okay. Now there's always repentance. All right, but we don't we don't know what the extent of that mercy is to give repentance. All right, but we have to understand that this is a fight. All right, and one thing that we have to make sure is that we keep our head buried in the scriptures, man. All right, to be spiritually sober. Okay. All right, First Timothy six and twelve. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Sometimes I get paranoid. At the thought of a woman, all right, being um, being so called a, a good woman, or being a woman that's supportive and, and provides comfort, all right. Not that I, you know, I'm just, you know, expecting the worst out of women, but you know, I understand that the spiritual demon Satan can take that fire from you through comfort or through a good job. Not saying that you can't have both in this truth, but you have to just have your antennas up, man. Keep your head on the swivel, man. All right, First Timothy six and twelve. Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. All right, fight the good fight of faith. Why does the Most High label this as, or why is it, you know, inscribed as fighting the good fight of faith? What are we fighting? Are we fighting ourselves, our own fleshly nature, that's contrary to these laws? We're fighting. The spirit of Babylon, which are contrary to these laws, okay? And ultimately, we're resisting our the spiritual demon Satan, all right? Which he's working on our minds, all right? To make us deviate or ultimately get the most high out of our minds. All right, that's why when a guy falls out the truth, all right? And he starts, you know, he might become antagonistic to the apostles, to the elders, all right? Hey, I, I feel the same way. I, I, it does feel like the fight intensified. Intensify. But, you know, when the most I takes his spirit from a brother 
he allowed Satan to enter into that brother because he didn't fell out. Now you see pictures of the brother on social media. It's like, damn, is he a part of a rock star band? Like, he, like he never came into the truth, man. He just in a whole different spirit, man. Because that house is abandoned now. You know, you live in a decent neighborhood, right? Or you live in a, a, a deteriorating neighborhood. Then the, the, the good tenants, they move out the house. Then, then there's nothing but junkies and niggas move in. It's like unclean niggas move in and just, they vandalize the house. That's a man that with the spirit left him and all those unclean demons came in, you know? All right? See, it's a fight. It's a fight to infiltrate your mind and to turn your mind out, man. All right? Brother, um, Vendors of His Temple 144 got a um, precept, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 15. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold, and hold the traditions which you have been taught whether by word or our epistle, con and pop, all right? And I, I agree. It's over here on my side too, like, the demons have intensified, man, which means that we got to intensify our uh, regiment, our spiritual patterns, you know, pray more, fast more, read more, which I, I got to read more. These videos, you know, if, if Satan is intensifying all right, in his truth, then we have to take note of what boosts our spirits up to counter Satan. You know, when a brother do videos, when I do a video, that boosts up my spirit. When I watch videos, that boosts up my spirit. You know? Vendors of his temple, 144, Matthew 26 and 41. All right? Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And that flesh is weak. And the spiritual demon saying capitalize off the weakness of the flesh. Okay. Let me get this in Peter's or first Peter's five and eight. Because you brought that out. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. So the spiritual demon saying is functioning like a roaring lion, a roaring lion, all right, walking to and fro. Look for the weaknesses within a body, all right? The animal that then separated himself, man. Okay. All right. Let me get this. Uh. Job chapter one verse six. Now there was a day when the sons of Yahweh came to present themselves before Yahweh, and Satan came also among them. And Yahweh said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered Yahweh and said. From going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. Now let's go right back to first Peter 5 and 8, where it says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, is a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may desire. I mean, I'm sorry, devour. Seeking whom he may devour, man. All right. So the, the characteristic of Satan is seeing how he can isolate a brother, all right, just like an animal in the wild. That gazelle is wandering off, all right, uh, away from the pack, all right, isolate him, all right, and then turn around and basically infiltrate him, man, infiltrate his mind, hack his mind, have him tripping. He could do it through that brother's woman, he could do it through that brother's job, he could do it through that brother's vices, all right. But it, it, it tells you, going back to the book of Job, the first chapter, in first Peter 5 and 8, that Satan is just lurking. The ghouls lurking. The ghouls are the spiritual demons under Satan. They're lurking, man. And they, they, they wait on you to go all those days without reading, all those days without doing videos. They wait on you to start getting weak to your woman's demands or her her the things that she's begging you to do is contrary to the to the word, man. All right. Let me get this. Um vendors of his vendors of his temple, second Ezra 12 and 15. Lo, yet, yet am I weary in my mind and very weak in my spirit, and little strength is there in me. For the great fear wherewith I was afflicted this night, therefore will I now. All right, I think the brother might have deleted that. This is Jim S. Memphis, Yakanan, by First Peter 4 and 12. Con. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice inasmuch you are partakers of Hamashiach's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, 
you may be glad also with exceeding joy. All right. And I go back to Vendors of His Temple 144. I see the rest of the scripture. It says, Lo, yet am I weary in my mind and very weak in my spirit, and little strength is there in me. For the great fear wherewith I was afflicted this night, therefore will I now beseech the highest that he will comfort me unto the end. And we are getting some of, you know, we are getting weary, man. All right, you will get weary. All right, but this this word is the water. You get bitter. Sometimes I be feeling bitter. I be feeling uptight. I don't know where it's coming from, you know. But like the scripture says, be not weary and well-doing, man. And this is well-doing, all right? We got to make sure that our excitement is the hope of the kingdom and not something, not some little false excitement like, you know, some short-term Babylonian goal that make you not really want to focus on the kingdom, man. You can fill in the blanks, whatever that may be. That's why the most I deprive the elect of certain things, all right? Some brothers, they's like they, they can't get certain things because the most I got to hold on certain things into the kingdom, all right? It's like a trust fund. That you can't get to until you turn 18 or 21. All right? You can't get this money until you turn a certain age. That's how the most I is with, with, with brothers. You can't get these certain type of women until we get into the kingdom. All right? Because why would I reward you and you haven't even finished your obstacle course? I have yet to see an obstacle course where the most I started showering the contenders with all type of gifts and rewards. And they haven't even finished, finished the obstacle course, man. All right, so it only makes sense that the most I sort of give us little MRAs, man, little little uh, packages, slave packages in Babylon, a job and a woman, whatever it may be, to keep you moving. Now, will your package look just like this next brother package? Meaning, will your family setup look like the next brother setup? No, but it's still a, a, a minimum of what you will actually have in the kingdom. Because we have to finish the race first, man. Like I said, I have yet to seen a race or a competition where people get showered with gifts before they even win. All right? Scripture says a gift destroys the heart. So the most I want us in the spirit of anger and haste. All right? Because this is a time of war to be mad at your enemy. Not to fall for the gifts of your enemy. All right? But the point is, all right, we got to overcome the wiles of Satan, which goes back to cunning arts. Hell for those women that you want to pursue. All right, don't you know when they come into your reality that a demon entered into them? Because it's that a lot of times, not all of them, but a lot of women that you meet, all right, that's really sane lurking within that woman to overthrow you. Can I use this woman, all right, to get him outside the truth, to make him too busy to do the works, to get him excited, all right, about me more than the truth, man? Can I have this woman slowly break down his mind to where, slowly break down his mind so he started questioning his faith, all right? Because like I said, a lot of these women, not me saying this, the spirit saying it, but a lot of these women you meet, you forget that it's an integrity test. Your woman is a freaking integrity test, man. The most I is double false, so yeah, your woman could give you comforts and all that, but from time to time, she's gonna test your integrity and the faith. And definitely these women you meet now, like in a world, in a bar, on the internet, a lot of those women, they're, they're, they're agents of the spiritual demon Satan to test you, man, or to really try to shake your faith. All right? But that, that's pretty much the point. You know, I'm going to see if brothers got anything else before I shut it down, man. Satan is the king of false realities. A de death to Babylon. All right? That's pretty much it. You know, it's... And we just got to stay sober, man, and, st and stay patient, man. All right? It's all about that desire accomplished, man. I want to party in the kingdom. I don't want to party in prison. You know, you get these little prison parties. And it's this prison life. You institutionalize, but you're trying to make hell your home. Hey, but with that, you know, we hope you brothers and sisters were edified. Once again, I want to give out honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, 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 by Hashem, Yahweh Peace and blessed house, David the elect. And with that, a Bible Bible coming out. Shalom, shalom. One. The Water for the Herbal Book title. I'm definitely going to order me one. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Yonder Bar. Like I said, once again, it's the herbal book, you know? And there's many herbal books. It's just many different books, but this one that I did have on deck at the Water to You Brothers.
Yo, 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 yeah, we talk. We just got through talking about your house, you know. All right, with that, hope you brothers is edified. To the next time, shalom.